Time to give them their roses, and we're excited for this one. Penny Hardaway, in three seasons together in Orlando, Penny and Shaq averaged 56 wins per season, a four-time All-Star, three-time All-NBA. It is for our segment, Give Them Their Roses, where we have NBA players that we think need to get more love, and the man, the myth, the legend is joining us now, Anthony Penny Hardaway. I'm turning this one right over to Shaq. We turned it over to Reddit earlier, and we'll have those responses. But Shaq, give Penny his roses. Give me a story and how much you love this guy. Well, I can remember when I first got to Orlando, guys were saying, Shaq, you got to take over. You got to take over. You got to take over. I've always, I was always a guy that didn't like to say much, but... I went to L.A. to shoot a movie called Blue Chips. And as I told you guys earlier, I don't pay attention to who's coming out or who's doing what. That, that, that's not my style. So I'm playing, uh, you know, and they're like, okay, Penny, you play with Shaq. And, like, every time I put my hand up, this guy is hitting me with perfect passes. So finally I asked my boy Chicago, I said, yo, who that, who's that actor over there? He said, yo, man, that's Penny Hardaway. And I was like, who, who is that? He's like, yo, man, he plays for Memphis, and they say he's going to be the – number three pick so you know uh you know the uh draft comes around orlando gets the first pick so now i'm remembering everybody saying shaq you got to exercise your power so i go in the office and say hey if y'all don't give me penny hardaway because i've just been playing with this guy shooting movies all summer me and him could be the new magic and kareem of this era if y'all don't get me him when my deal is up i'm gonna talk about doing something else and they promised me they would they would so now I'm at the house, I'm watching the draft. They draft Chris Webber. Now I'm pissed. I break TVs, I break furniture. <laughs> I'm mad, I'm yelling and screaming. I'm telling them, get my agent on the phone. I don't want to be here, blah, 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 blah. And then after I calm down, I see that they traded Chris Webb and we got Penny. And it was very, very special. Penny is a mixture of, of all the other guys that I play with. At times he was like D-Wade because he could just take over the game. And I would have to tell him sometimes, like, Penny, you go ahead and go. It's you. Uh, you know, he's sort of like, uh, you know, LeBron. He's a great passer. You know, whenever I wanted the ball, whenever I ran the floor, he always got me the ball. We never had problems. And, you know, he had that killer instinct of Kobe. And I hate to see his career cut short because of injury. But if he didn't have injuries, I think people would, you know, definitely hear his name, name more. Because Penny was the coldest young cat that I've seen ever since D-Wade, LeBron, and Kobe. And I'm not just saying that because he was here. Man. I played with him, I seen him, and guess what, he came in like this. You know, a lot of guys took a year or maybe two to develop, but Penny came in like that, and Penny nice. was a cold boy. And another guy that he reminded me of was Tracy McGrady too, because he was long, but he was thin, but the way he went to the rack and the way he could just take over games. So Penny, you know I love you, I'ma salute you. It wouldn't be no Shaq if it wasn't for you, and uh, I appreciate you very much. <clears throat> that's awesome let's keep giving them roses vince you were nodding your head a lot give me a story well, about penny well i'm a florida boy so i grew up in daytona beach and obviously with the magic uh, uh we're around and, and during that time uh you know shaq penny dominating and i got the opportunity to play pickup with those guys in high school uh, i was good friends with nick anderson and nick used to come watch me play and brought me out to play pickup and that's when I kind of got the opportunity to get a sneak peek of what the NBA was like at 16 or 17 years old. And obviously just us being a fan, you know, me being a fan of uh, the Orlando Magic growing up, watching them play, getting the opportunity to play them, and then getting to the league and obviously playing against them. But I tell you, when I played in Memphis and the things he's done, you, Penny, which you've done in, in the city of Memphis, uh, it's just been amazing. You know, you get here and everybody like, man, you know, just obviously knowing you, but just hearing the, the praises and what you've done for the, the youth and young kids and your, your AAU uh, team and the success you've had and obviously going on to Memphis and having the success and bringing in some of the talent. I mean, it just speaks to where they were and where they are now because of you, the person, you know, uh, obviously the, the recruiting you've done, but your, your game speaks for itself. But, man, you've done some great things, and it's been a pleasure, obviously, getting to know you as a young high school kid, uh, as an NBA professional, and uh, after our career as well. Uh, and you're a hell of a golfer as well. You know, I appreciate I had to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had to that. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. Sure. 
I mean, Penny is the, uh, Jordan called him kid. Uh, Jordan, I think the only shoe that he's worn that have not been Jordans were Pennies in a basketball game. Uh, I don't think we're hearing from Penny that much. We're just telling stories because we're giving him the roses. Uh, do, here are the shoes. This is the one. Penny, what was it like to see Jordan oh. wear your shoes? That's crazy. Hey, first of all, you have to show that clip. And secondly, uh, it was it was unbelievable seeing Michael with my shoes on. I didn't know why he wasn't wearing like an older pair of his uh, his sneakers. And to see him with those on was like, it was crazy to see him before the game uh, warming up with those shoes on. You know, Adam, uh, it is, just yeah, those were the, growing up yeah, around it, in, around basketball, you know, the Bulls dynasty, I'm, I'm from the Chicago area. It was the Orlando Magic that Chicago had their eyes on, especially in 95 in the playoffs when Jordan was back and Horace Grant had left and, and went to Orlando. And Shaq completely dominated that series to go to the finals. And Penny and Horace absolutely dominated that series. So honestly, I'm going to give you your rose, roses, but I have to say I was a little disappointed. I was nine years old watching you absolutely <laughs> destroy my team. And, and so honestly, just cheering. respect. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate it. The Bulls team, they were the ones that we were chasing. So we kind of caught Michael at a good time with him just coming back. And like I said, Shaq dominated. Horace had an unbelievable series, and I just added where I could. Where I, where I would put it, fit in, and that was it. Those guys carried me this series. And hey, we got to give Nick his uh, Penny because uh, he was locking up. Penny, yeah, he was. Obviously, obviously, Penny is an iconic figure in the game of basketball. I mean, little Penny is an iconic figure in the game of basketball. Um, but for me, I always try to go to personal stories, and here's one for me. So. When I was coming out of high school, Penny, I was academically ineligible. Um, this was year 2000. And I really didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should go to junior college, if I should go to college and sit out, or what I should do. So I was told to do a little research. And my research led me, led me to a player that played in the same conference, Conference USA, that went to Memphis State, eventually is now, everyone knows it, is Memphis University, that was academically ineligible his first year. Um, in college and to be able to kind of you know 10 years later to look at the career you had in college to look at the at that time what you were doing in the NBA what you and Shaq was doing in the NBA um, they gave me the confidence that I was making the right decision you know taking you know going to college you know even though I didn't you know, pass my ACT and I just want to tell you like through all the hardship that you've dealt with in your life through everything you've dealt with just understand how important you are and how important these moments are for people um, that, that looks up to you, that looked up to you. And I looked up to you because I've seen someone that, that was amazing at the sport that I wanted to play and that was going th and went through the same trials and tribulations I went through in life, whether it was away from the game and whether it was dealing with school. So I thank you, man, for leading the way, um, for, you know, giving me someone within the conference that I was playing in and, and going through the same thing to show me that, you know what, you can go through this and you can still come out of this and be an all-star and be one of the best that ever played the game. You know, I, I appreciate that, man, from everybody, though. I'm a huge fan of everybody on this, uh, on this call. You know, Shaq, it was unbelievable playing with him. He made my life easy. Like he said, he's the reason why I was in Orlando, and, man, we were just dominant. So, you know, those days are the, are the best days of my career, uh, definitely. Vince, like you said, I knew you since high school, man. I remember you having a dunk contest in high school in the Orlando Arena. Yeah. That was one of my yeah. favorite moments at halftime, coming out and watching you do the dunk contest before everybody knew about all the dunking and whatever. And, Candace, you've been at the oh, University of Tennessee. I mean, come on, man. My, my whole entire family loved you. You were just a baller, still are a baller. So we definitely respect you. And D-Wade, I mean, come on, man. What can I say? To even play with you in Miami and just see your greatness. You were coming off an injury, but to see your work ethic, man, and see you from being flash all the way up until you got older, the way you handled yourself, handled the game, and did everything, man, I was just amazed at how great you were. When I had the little small moments at Miami, I was telling people, I was like, D-Wade is just, he's just an unbelievable dude. He's just off the floor and on the court. Just the things that you man, did so man. easy, the way the game came to you. So with everybody on here, man, thank you all so much. I definitely appreciate everybody.